Hey guys, a while back I built those raised beds here in the greenhouse. What we're going to do right now is uh, take a look at them, see just how well they're doing. We'll start right here with this Hastings prolific corn. This stuff looks absolutely beautiful right now. Very nice looking corn. When the fella down in Georgia sent me the seed for it, told me the story behind it, his grandfather's favorite corn. Very hard to find this seed. Uh, there was a certain amount of pressure that I felt to try to grow this thing out. I've gotten a lot of requests for the seed. I want to know what I'd be willing to sell it. My plan is to do this. If I can get this stuff pollinated, get it to produce properly, get it dried out, uh, what I'm going to do is share it with as many people as I possibly can. Uh, the fellow was kind enough to send it to me, so I'm going to try to return the favor to as many people as I can. I got two beds of this, one right there and one down just a little bit further. Both of them look real good. On the back side of each one of these beds, I got some yellow straight neck squash. That stuff too, looking very nice. A lot of people have mentioned marigolds. I had mentioned it before as far as doing something in the garden to try to help with the pests. So I got me some a uh, couple of flats right here of marigolds that I started. There's some of my tomato seedlings. We're going to be planting them in the other greenhouse here shortly. Uh, stems look kind of spindly there. We're not getting a whole lot of light, but we're going to stick them in the ground and make that work. Up top here, what I did was build some little shelves down the side. I had another idea that I was going to do some hydroponic stuff on that sidewall. And it just kind of tight fit there. So I put shelves up and got all my pepper seedlings sitting on there right now. In this next bed, I got some Tyria cucumbers. And on the back side of it, I got some Parthenon zucchini. And that stuff is just growing crazy right now. It was kind of an iffy deal to see if the cucumbers would get big enough to uh, to get up the string before the zucchini shaded them out, but I think we're going to make it. This is the second bed with cucumbers. These are Socrates right here, and just like the last one, on the back side is some more Parthenon zucchini. This stuff is just looking great right now. If you like zucchini, come see me. I think we're going to have plenty of it. Right there is one of my eggplants. And for whatever reason, I keep forgetting to water this thing, but it has a way of letting me know. You ever shook hands with somebody who couldn't shake hands properly and there's just like a limp noodle? Well, he'll show me that limp noodle with his leaves and let me know he's thirsty. I believe he's going to make it though. We got more transplants to go in the greenhouse over there. And they're getting a little bit taller than what I want. This one ain't so bad right here. Some of these closer to the middle. See how tall, skinny the stems are? I'd rather have them short and stocky. A 16 inch tomato vine ain't exactly what I'm looking for. I prefer to have it about 10, 12 inches and nice and stocky, but uh, I don't have enough sunlight to them right now and I don't have them spread out enough. But like I said, we're going to put them in the ground, put them in some buckets, put them in some bags. We're going to put them somewhere this week and let them go ahead and start doing their thing. Here's some more stuff I need to get planted outside. This Pac-Man broccoli right here. Look at the stems on those things. Big, thick stems. We're going to get them in the garden here the next day or so. We've got five days in a row. About 70, 75 degrees. It's time to roll. Same deal with this cabbage right here. Got to get outside. Y'all seen them things that look like alien turnips? Look like a turnip growing on top of the ground with leaves coming out the top of it. This is that purple kohlrabi right here. We're going to try to grow that. What I got right here is some more Socrates cucumbers. These probably are a couple weeks or so, two, three weeks older than the, uh, the first two I showed you. These things climbing the strings real nice. Looking just great right now. All kinds of flowers on there. Now I don't have to worry about pollinating them. So to me the flowers are just pretty. These are a parthenocarpic variety which means I don't have to pollinate them and neither do the bees. Just like the broccoli and the cabbage, these onions right here going outside this week. My little strawberry beds coming along pretty good. Right here I got some of those Vortex pole beans. Them things already made the nine foot run up to the top. Starting to make beans on there. They're going to be some of the easiest snap beans I've ever picked in my life. Just walk along here and grab them off the vine like that. My little cayenne peppers are starting to put out. Got some nice looking peppers coming on down in there. The little Camelot bell peppers right here, they starting to get loaded up. This is some of the early crop of the Parthenon zucchini. 
You can see what kind of zucchini that thing makes. Here's some of them little mini pumpkins. I think that's about as big as they're going to get. I was able to get some of them pollinated. Got enough so I could see exactly what they were going to do. And right here, this is the first bed that I made. Got some yellow squash coming on down there. And if you notice the size of these leaves, they ain't nowhere near as big as what the other ones in the later beds were. This is what you get when you start your plants too early and you keep them in a pot and they get stunted and root bound. A lot of times they just never really recover from it. And this is the view right here from the east end. Just looking down across all these beds. All I see is a sea of green and got some red coming on the side with this long bed of Rutgers tomatoes. They starting to come together now. A little higher up you can see just how much green is down this side right here. These raised beds I've never done raised beds before other than I did a little bit of cucumbers on the end of the house last year just to see how they do. Mix up something decent for these things to grow in. They'll take off. Looking at it from the other end, again, nothing but a sea of green. Look at that corn right there. That stuff is just beautiful. You just look down that long row of tomatoes right there. Some of them ripening it up. Some of them just hanging on there in big clusters. Gonna make a ton of them this year. Over here, I got my beef steak and bush beef steak messed up and ended up with a bush vine trying to grow it up a string. Somehow or another I got my seed all crossed up. Oh well. But still, those things loaded down too. Gonna make plenty of tomatoes in here. That's a few of the early big beef right there. You talking about making a big old sandwich. They ain't quite as soft as the Rutgers are, but it's still a good tasting tomato. And just checking on these grow bags, the ones we're going to pull them up, see if we can grow some more roots. Not a whole lot going on. Can't pull the bags up right now. Got to wait to make those tomatoes there. Looking at them side by side, not seeing a whole lot of difference. Looks about the same to me. I had said in the past that I wanted to try to do a little bit of hydroponics, some aquaponics stuff. This is just a test right here. These are some homemade Dutch buckets that I made. Don't have them connected or anything like that. They just dump into this tub and got a pump in there that pumps back in the top. These are some tomatoes that I rooted from suckers. And I'm testing out a nutrient solution that I make up myself to see how well it does. And so far they look good. This one right here is already starting to flower. I've looked in here. The roots look real good. So this looks real promising right here. Right here is some of my early hydroponic stuff for my lettuce. I grow plenty of cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers in order to make a real salad we got to have some lettuce to go with it. So I'm going to put this rail system together and we'll try to grow some uh, hydroponic lettuce. And for the Dutch bucket deal, there's a few more buckets I've made up. I'm going to try to grow at least uh, 10 or 12 tomatoes in those and see how well they do. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this time. Coming up next is going to be a whole lot of planting outside. That kind of deal. Got all that cabbage and broccoli, onions, Need to get some potatoes in the ground. Got to put some tomatoes in the other greenhouse over there. Got more planting than I know what to do with right now, but uh, I'm going to try to get to it. This corn right here, generally when it gets this tall right here, I should have done side rest and laid it by. But being as how it's in the bed, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. We'll try to get a little uh, nitrogen on the side of it. Make sure it's got plenty to make that last uh, three, four, foot tall and try to make it some nice corn on there. The zucchini and squash down here, all these cucumbers gonna have plenty of stuff if I can keep the aphids off. We'll see how it goes. Y'all take care and I'll see you next time.